Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at what I think is a really useful combination of travel focused accessories from Skyborne. The items we're going to be taking a look at are a sling bag, an EDC wallet, and a passport wallet. Each of these items on their own is pretty useful and Skyborne does a good job of using durable materials and they always bring some unique functionality to these types of items, but I think it's the combination of these that really works well for travel. I've found myself in many different occasions where having a dedicated passport wallet to grab my stuff is really useful, but they tend to be bigger, so that's where you might wanna use a smaller EDC-focused wallet. You're always gonna to wanna to have your cards and cash regardless of where you're going. And then a sling bag is a great accessory to pair with a larger carry-on bag. You can wear it on the front, grab all of your essentials while you're going through TSA, empty out your pockets. It's also a great thing to have on the flight to be able to reach things that you might need without having to go up into an overhead storage compartment. So really love the combination of these items in particular. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about what it's been like to use these over the past couple of weeks. I'll show you the different features that each one has, talk about how I've loaded them out, and I'll also talk about how they compare to some of the other similar items that are currently on the market. Before jumping into the video, I wanna thank the company for sending the items for me to test out. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Danny and on this channel, we love reviewing popular travel and everyday carry gear. If you like these types of videos and you'd be interested in seeing more, please consider subscribing as it helps the channel out a lot. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump in. Starting off with the outside of the sling bag, I really like the overall aesthetic. This has a really clean and modern look, very almost professional looking. It feels like it would go well with a nicer outfit if you were walking around the city. It's gonna be great for traveling, and it's just an aesthetic that I think is gonna work well in lots of different environments. The materials here feel really durable. The exterior fabric is a ballistic nylon that's gonna offer plenty of durability and weather resistance, and then you also have some great YKK zippers all throughout. Continuing on with the capacity, the sling bag comes in at about three liters, which is a pretty good minimal sling bag size in my opinion. It gives you enough space to hold some of the larger items that wouldn't fit in your pockets, but it doesn't feel as overwhelming as a backpack or messenger bag or anything like that. It does expand out quite a bit when it's fully packed out, but it still doesn't feel so overwhelming that it would be uncomfortable to you know, sling across your chest or your back or even your waist and walk around a crowded area or jump onto public transit. Taking a look at how you actually carry the sling, it has a really nice adjustable strap that is secured with a magnetic buckle. I'm a big fan of these buckles as they release very quickly, but you do have the peace of mind that it's not gonna come loose. I love this mechanism as well for fidgeting. Super satisfying to clip on and off. And then you have the ability to adjust from both sides, which is really great. Will allow you to really configure it to sit on your shoulders the way that you want, whether you sling it over your right or left shoulder or pull it tight if you wanna wear it as a waist pack, so really love the versatility there. And a nice bonus with this one is that you have a breathable mesh and padding on the area that's gonna rest against your body to give you just a little bit more comfort and breathability. Jumping into the organizational options, the sling bag has a nice variety of pockets all throughout. Starting off at the front, you have a simple zippered quick access pocket. I like that there is this flap that kinda of comes over to give you some additional protection for the zipper and you actually have a pretty good amount of space here for any of the items that you might be reaching for most regularly. So at the moment I currently have my Apple AirPods, I have an extra lightning cable and then in this compartment you also have an included retractable key leash that has a little carabiner which is going to be a good spot to attach your keys or a multi-tool. And then on the front you have what I think is maybe the most interesting feature of the sling bag. I haven't seen this on a lot of other bags and I think it's really cool. You have this compartment that expands out to hold an umbrella or a water bottle. So that's one of the reasons that I'm not always a big fan of sling bags is that if you wanna carry a water bottle, it takes up a big chunk of the sling bag. So here, this is a really interesting solution here. And you have a couple of slots inside this area one side is uh, designated as the water bottle area, and then the other side is specifically called out as an umbrella area. I actually have an umbrella in here at the moment. It's a more compact umbrella that was able to slide in there pretty easily. It can be a little bit clunky to get the items in and out of this area. They have the little elastic bands here that come out, but even with that, it's still kind of in the way, particularly if you're trying to use a bulkier umbrella or water bottle. A couple of things to call out here with the separate compartments on the umbrella one specifically, only one side is open, which is nice so that if you have an umbrella that's actually wet, 
it will catch that moisture and prevent it from leaking out onto your clothing. And then the water bottle pocket is actually open on both sides so that you can grab it regardless however you might be wearing the sling. I wouldn't be able to fit a large water bottle and an umbrella in here together. And even when I used my 20 ounce water bottle, it really took up a lot of space. It fit, but I don't think that I would have been able to fit the umbrella with it. So you'll kind of have to pick and choose and be strategic about how you use it, but still really a nice unique feature that just adds a ton of functionality to this for me. And then moving into the main compartment, you have a zipper across the top that gives you enough visibility into the compartment. I also like that this has a self-standing design so I can place it down next to me when I'm sitting in a coffee shop or something. Then you have kind of a larger area in the middle that's gonna be good for the bigger items that you might have. So in my case, I have my sunglasses with a case, and then I also have my GoPro. And on the inside, you have some nice internal organization. You have this little flap that comes down over these slip pockets. And I like that these have enough space to hold, you know, slightly larger items, not just cables and dongles, but portable hard drive, portable battery. Here on this one, I have a little manicure set that I typically have with me. And then on the other side, you have some more slip pockets. These are mesh and they're actually sized to fit the other accessories that we're gonna be talking about in this video, the passport wallet and the card holder that Skyborne have come out with. So starting with the passport wallet, you can see that that one's a little bit bigger. So you have that bigger slip pocket. And this is an accessory that I've started to use a lot more while traveling. I absolutely love having something that can hold passports, other documentation, commonly used cards. You have a couple of slots on the back. So if you're somebody who has one of those credit cards that'll get you into the lounges or just multiple IDs, you can just put them in there, have everything together. And then they actually include a little strap here that you can attach via some carabiners that will allow you to wear this around your neck. So maybe that's an easier way for some people to carry it or also maybe a more secure way if you wanna wrap this around your neck, wear it under your shirt. There's also a little slot here on the front that can pair with something like an AirTag or Skyborne has their own trackers that you can use. And then you have a larger main compartment that actually holds your passport. I like that it has this pull tab so that you can easily grab it whenever you need to get to it and put it away. It's got kind of a magnetic closure here. It's not super strong, but it'll help just kind of keep things in place. And then you also get a miniature pen that's included with the passport wallet when you get it so that, you know, if you need to quickly fill out some customs documentation or sign something, you have it handy and ready to go. And so just really like the form factor and the functionality here. It also has this really nice kind of professional looking leather. And then in the other slot, you have the wallet from Skyborne that I have been really enjoying recently. So it's got this card sliding mechanism that we've seen in some other EDC wallets that are currently on the market. This is becoming quite popular. This one works super smoothly. You just slide it over and it fans out all of your cards so that you can easily grab the one that you're looking for and then you can put the other ones away. One of my concerns with this is whether they'll fall out. So no issues there. It's a really secure uh, mechanism and it just works flawlessly every time. And then you have a couple of slots along the outside for cards that you maybe need to grab a little bit more frequently or less depending on how you use it, but nice to have that additional flexibility there. You also have a little slot on the front that's gonna be maybe a place to store some cash that you can grab quickly while you're on the go. And yeah, it's got a really slim form factor. It's got the same sort of nice leather that we saw on the passport holder, so it's just very classy and it is slim enough that it will pretty much fit into any pocket, whether you front or back pocket carry. If you carry this in the back, I can you know, feel like this would be a little bit uncomfortable. So I've been using it in my front pocket, but either way, really good size and also easy to toss into the sling bag. And so that's pretty much it. I really like that this has kind of a simpler layout. There's just a couple of slip pockets that are really functional as opposed to having a ton of small slots and little zipper compartments. I always struggle to know what to fill those with. And then you have plenty of space here for the things that you might need to carry. I also like that when this is empty, even though it's not the flattest sling bag, it's still something that you could toss into a larger travel backpack if you needed to, so that you had a smaller bag to carry around when you arrive at your destination, or you can wear this on the front while paired with a larger travel backpack. So a really nice, versatile sling. I love the layout all throughout, the aesthetic, and then if you pair it with the other accessories that Skyborne has created, you know, you have a really solid 
modular travel ecosystem that's gonna keep all of your stuff organized while you're on the road. And so to wrap up, it's been a pretty great experience testing out the Skyborn sling bag wallet and passport wallet over the past couple of weeks. You can currently purchase these on Skyborn's site. The sling bag comes in at around $170. The passport wallet comes in maybe at around $120, $115, a pretty similar price point for the wallet. So these are definitely more premium priced accessories. They're a bit of an investment. You do get some really high quality materials and a nice feature set, but there's gonna be some other great items in these price ranges that may be worth considering. If you're in the market for other ecosystems like this that provide a lot of different accessories for travel, kind of in the same family, I would definitely recommend checking out some of the items that Air has to offer. They have a really great selection of sling bags and they also have Travel Focus Wallet. I've used their card holder for a while now. It's a little bit larger, but it does hold some credit cards. Combines well with some of their sling bags, which are some of the most popular on the market, particularly for carrying on with their travel backpack. They have great organization, solid build quality, modern aesthetics, and they're offered in a few different sizes. I would also check out some of the options from Bellroy. I haven't had a chance to check out their sling bags, but they're super popular. I've seen a lot of people talk about them. I've used many of Bellroy's backpacks in the past, and I'm a big fan, but also they have a great ecosystem of wallets. They have card holders, bifold wallets, they have passport wallets, really high quality overall, and everything sort of combines well and offers a really nice premium, professional looking aesthetic much like this one. And I'll also include some links in the description below to just some of my favorite wallets that I've tested out in the past if you wanna see some additional alternatives of the types of things that I might like to use, as well as to some of the roundup videos that I've done for my favorite pouches and travel backpacks if you wanna see other things that might work well for just keeping you organized and your stuff accessible while you're on the go. And I'm definitely curious to hear what you all think of these accessories from Skyborn and how they compare to some of the other options that are currently on the market. If there's anything similar that you think that I should check out, as always, please let me know in the comments. And I wanna thank the company again for sending the items for me to test out and to you guys for watching and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos and we'll see you in the next one.